So it is Six Flags St. Louis. I've actually got two days at Six Flags for you. Got to combine a couple different trips. One with my wife and one with that one. <laughs> So today is Six Flags St. Louis. It's been a week of storms and tornadoes and terrible weather. Today should be pretty decent. Looks like maybe a few sprinkles, but coming in to get our passes processed, to get ready for the upcoming year, to catch a few rides while we're here, maybe say hi to a few people. So, hey, let's head on in and go have some fun and be a kid again. My wife's already been teasing my Mac like I'm five. What, what's wrong with that? So obviously, school day, as you can see today, a big improvement at the gate. In the past, when you'd had a membership or a pass, you had to go to a separate pass center and get it processed and card printed and everything. Nope, they did it right as turnstiles we came in. Handed them the ticket, they scanned our finger, handed us the new card, and that was it. So that was wonderful. Great improvement, Six Flags. So we still got like 10, 15 minutes till the park actually opens. And you can see there's a big crowd over there, and there's another one over there. I think we're going to go ahead to Justice League first, so that way my wife can get in a ride. And that seems to be the one with the long line, so let's go to Justice League. Ready to watch, watch the Stampede. It is just about opening time. You can see Mr. Freeze rolling. And here they go. And here's where I show that I'm old. I ain't doing that. I say it's the running of the bulls, but that'd be a load of bull. <laughs> so first stops of the day, Mr. Freeze, which isn't open yet. But that's okay, because we're going here first, because this is the one that'll have the slowest line. And identify our individual weaknesses. Now, Luther's using those weaknesses against us. Supergirl, the Flash, and Green Lantern have already been captured. Only so Superman. just got off two rides in a row with Justice League, didn't even have to get off. Uh, first one did pretty good, 298,000, top 2%, and then my second one, top 1%, ooh, I feel special. I'm a good boy. She's smirking at me because I'm such a goob. But I uh, love that ride. Great fun. We'll probably come back and do it again later. My next stop, solo ride on Mr. Freeze, so my wife studies her Spanish. Be Or maybe not. Helps if I actually look at entrances first, because once I walk around here... Um, it's closed still. It'll open up later and, oh wow, this is some timing. <laughs> They're closing up Justice League because apparently it had an issue. Well, I'm happy we got that when we did. <laughs> I'm going to miss the opening of this by one whole day. They actually do the member previews tomorrow, which would be me, but not going to get to write it today. Although I kind of have to laugh. Essentially what this is, it's a brand new version of the Enterprise. It's an updated, same kind of thing. And what used to sit here was an Enterprise. Gee, lots of change. One thing we're running into, you can see the people walking the track of Screaming Eagle. So it's obviously not ready and Skyscreamer's still closed. So hopefully they'll get some of these open later. So sprinkling a little bit now. We just got off of Batman. I uh, got to meet up with Brian, who's kind of hiding there behind me. There he is. So uh, Back row ride. Batman's only running one train, so it's like a 30 to 45 minute wait. But Brian was really nice, let me borrow his flash pass, and so we went right on back row ride. Nice, quick, and easy. So I must be near a Batman. It was a good ride. So we're gonna try and go get our membership bottles now if we can figure out where to pick them up at. So light rain, got our cups. We're gonna go head over to Colossus, the giant wheel, and see if we can get on that in the rain. Because it should be dry, maybe. We hope. And it sounds like freeze is running at least. So we'll get that a little bit later. So it's about two o'clock, we're actually heading out. Hasn't been a bad day, got a few rides in. Um, they've got a lot of stuff not open. Almost every coaster is only running one train. The only exception is Pandemonium, which has three, I think. A uh, lot of rides closed. Um, they've got a decent crowd here because the school kids, a lot of end of the school years, so they should have been running a lot better. It, it feels like they were not ready for the season to open, which is kind of a sad thing because they knew it was coming. So. Um, be nice we'll be back again at least once this year so took around on american thunder which used to be evil knievel still a great coaster love that one uh not too bad of a wait um uh, mr freeze i didn't do just because it was a long wait 
uh, because there was only one train running. Uh, Walk by Pandemonium, it didn't have a bad weight. Um, that's much more fun if you got other people with you. And since I was riding alone, didn't do that. I did go ahead and take a walk out to the boss because they did remove the big helix on the boss, trying to smooth it out a little bit. And so I figured, yeah, why not? We'll give it a try. Road next to the last row, um, one train operation again, which meant longer wait than necessary. And they actually completely stopped us at the mid course before letting us go again, which was kind of odd, but I'm guessing that's trying to smooth it out. And it's still on the rough side. It's better than it was, but it's early in the year. It kind of ought to be better. Uh, so this is not a good way to start the season for it. Uh, it. It's still definitely on the rough side. I have my ride for the year, won't ride it again. Uh, so I don't know. I think boss, it, it either needs a complete retracking or it needs the Rocky Mountain treatment, rip it down and replace the poor thing. So, um, but there's some great rides here. I love American Thunder. I love Batman. Uh, I love Mr. Freeze. Love the Justice League. So there's a number of great rides that I really enjoy here, but it's just frustrating when you come across so many that are closed or not operating the way they should be. Oh, this park could be so much better. So this is day two of Six Flags St. Louis. Yeah, the first day I just didn't quite have enough footage to make a whole day, so here's part two. So you got to see the day with my wife. Well, now I'm here with Amber, and we're heading on our way in. Amber actually gets to ride some coasters, so we should be able to catch a few things I didn't get to do with my wife, and hopefully it's not too busy, and weather's beautiful today. It'll be like the first time I've been at Six Flags St. Louis without rain of some sort. That's kind of cool. So let's get in there and go see what we can do. So we are in. Finger scanners weren't working this time, so that was real quick. We're going to check out Batman's line, see how long it is, and hopefully it's not too bad. Uh, looking forward to trying to catch a couple of the shows and see what else we can do here. So we're waiting on Batman because we got to get a locker for the bags. No big deal, except apparently one of the machines froze. I don't know if it's the machine or the girl. We were there. There's a little bit of a line that formed up for the other machine. So we're kind of asking, well, if it's not letting you in, maybe we can jump in. And I got people on the other line going, hey, there's a line. Well, yeah, but we were here before you waiting for this one. So uh, so we're just going to go on to something else rather than deal with people who don't know what's going on. Or what a real line is. Okay. So Spinsanity's not too bad. Not anywhere near as fast and doesn't hit the peaks like uh, the disco at Silver Dollar City does. But they're yeah, a nice little ride. So uh, we just saw their Skyflyer going, and so I think we're heading that way to go catch it next. So just got got done with the mine train. What you think? It was decent. Decent, yeah, not too bad. Um, no, I'm not definitely not really right. Fun little ride, there for the kids. Good starter coaster. Fun ride. So just get a nice bird's eye view of the park. What you think? So, I like these rides. So you can see it behind me there as they're loading up the next ride. They're fun general rides. Now, if you got a fear of heights, it's definitely going to get you a little bit, but it gives a great view of the park, and I think we got a couple ideas. Amber, for some reason, wants to go upside down. So I guess we're going to go on this ride that normally I don't go on because I'm like, yeah, but she wants to be hanging. She's a weird kid. So we're in line for, for their fireball, and they just shut off the engine, and they're getting everybody off the train. That's not good. You can tell it's still puffing a little bit, but it's not firing right now. So, wonder what happened to it. Just got off a fireball, that big thing right there. And I gotta say, that was actually much better than the carnival versions of it. So I you, it was fun. I, I was impressed. Smooth, the much more room in the compartments than the carnival versions of it have. And yeah, that was a fun ride. I think we're heading over to Superman now. So we can fall out of the sky. That's going to be us. <laughs> We're going to die. So the artwork in this station is interesting. Because you get Lois Lane, Steel, Lex Luthor, and then that just looks creepy. I still love in and Drop Towers. Great drop. You like me? Fun ride. So, love these things. Good, nice little quick video here for you to let you see just how uh, fun what this whole ride actually is. I love those things.
was a lot of fun on the drop ride, so we're going to take a little bit of a different break now, and we're going to head into the saloon show, which is really kind of weird when Taylor Swift is playing, but... A little look at their theater here for the saloon show. Seems to be a simple stage, basic chairs, and then you can see at both ends they have the bar they used to serve drinks, I'm guessing, but doesn't anymore. You can tell it's a pretty light crowd day because there's not a lot of people here. So the hard thing is going to be comparing this to Silver Dollar City and Disney's saloon shows. Let's see how they do. done seeing Miss Kitty Saloon show. It was a really huge show. A lot of fun. Uh, the sound system felt like it could use a little work, but good performers. Uh, clean, which was very nice. So very kid-friendly if you've got kids. And, uh, I liked it. Love the dad joke song. <laughs> Amber didn't. I thought the music had a little bit less of a tune than the Silver City music. And I did recognize one of their songs here at the top from If Anything Goes. Yeah. Yeah, there were a couple songs you recognized. Um, it did feel like so they needed to enhance the sound system. But part of it is well, we had a very small crowd, and a lot of times they they designed the sound to accommodate bodies, and there weren't bodies. So it might have been partially that. But um, You can tell that uh, the bar used to be a thing with tables, but instead they emptied out all the tables and filled it in with all sorts of chairs. Although I did like that they actually referenced that in the show a couple times, so that was pretty funny. But we're heading over to Mr. Freeze and Justice League and gonna check those out. You know what a river rap rapids ride looks like with no rapids? <laughs> that's it. Just logs on the ground. And that's what makes a rapids. So interesting turn of events. We tried to get on Mr. Freeze, they shut it down. It looks like now it's open. We took two rounds on Justice League. Uh, the reason we got two is because the first time through we took the single rider line because it's got like a 45, 50 minute line. And came around the second screen said restarting windows <laughs> oops all the uh, guys in my car started screaming kill the void kill the void <laughs> shooting at the screen. so we came back in uh told the guy who was running the ride the lead there and he immediately you want another ride we'll put you right back on again they rebooted the system and uh so we got a second ride in which was really nice uh the car i was in that second time it, they rocked the score um we had Good scores. You were what, 217? I was at like 320. I think I was top 2% all time, which is not as big as my score the other day, but love that ride. So we're going to try Mr. Freeze again. And maybe we won't get Mr. Freeze. <laughs> yeah, right as so we get up to the building, they announce it's shut down again. Okay. They're just having some sort of issue with it today. And up, down, up, down. So we'll give it another try a little bit later and. Meantime, we'll head off and, I don't know, maybe we'll do Screaming Eagle or American Thunder. I hear American Thunder calling my name. Stuff rides coasters. Yeah, and then, blah. This is kind of sad, though. Excalibur's still sitting here, and this ride has been issues and problems ever since they put it in. I did actually get to ride it a couple years ago when it was up and running, but... Um, it's 
definitely not running. In fact, if you can see it over the bushes there, yeah, yeah it doesn't even have its cars on it. There ain't nothing happening with that one. And I'm afraid its days are probably doomed. So, I don't know, we'll see what the lion's like and maybe we'll do pandemonium here. Or Screaming Eagle, one of the two. Okay, I fail as a vlogger. We're sitting here eating lunch and I totally forgot to get pictures of the food and talking about it. Um, I had some nachos, uh, the Nacho Supreme for Macho Nacho, which you can see. Let's see if I can get there. Doesn't that look good? It was good. And then Amber's got her fries there. And we're finishing up a cheesecake. And the cheesecake is actually really good. I'm, I'm very impressed with that. Uh, but, yeah, I, I forgot to get the pictures and the video and all that. It was good food. Um, and the nice thing is with the membership discount, it actually made it almost reasonably priced. Almost. So, but you can see our, our cheesecake's about gone. It's a good cheesecake. It's, it's cheesecake done right. So, uh, very impressed with that, and I think she's leaving me the last bite, so I'm going to grab one more bite of cheesecake, because it's nom nom. I'm going to possibly correct what I said earlier about Excalibur. They're saying possibly this summer. <laughs> we'll see. Just got done with Screaming Eagle, which was the, uh, it's the oldest wood coaster in the park, and it's one I really want to like. It's got a great layout and everything, but, um, well, here, let me let you look at Amber's face. <laughs> it is in desperate need of a retracking. Um, there's not much grease on the tracks, but you can tell it is just the gauging on the track is all knocked out because it's shuffling bad in the turns. I mean, wham, 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 wham. Um, and then even on the straightaways, it's trying hard to find its path. So um, it it needs a retracking pretty bad. I can feel all of my squishy insides going bang, 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 bang. Now, it's nowhere near as bad as the boss. Um, I could rewrite it. Easy. Amber, it's too much for her. It would probably kill me. <laughs> I don't think it would kill her. It, would kill me. it wouldn't kill you. Unless you're already dead. So, um, if you don't mind your wood coasters a little on the rough side, you probably like it. Um, it it's just frustrating for me because... I know what it could be, what it should be. Um, it just, it needs some work. Well, walking okay. down, this time there's actually people on Supergirl. We got a little bit of line, but hey, we're gonna give it a shot here, see if we can actually get on this thing in a semi-reasonable amount of time. Maybe, we'll see. That'd be funny. That'd be hilarious. That'd be hilarious. So not a bad ride. What do you think? Uh, it was fun. Fun. It definitely just very similar to the Enterprise. Doesn't have the freedom and swinging movement that the old Enterprises do. I honestly can't even remember who made this one. I, but um, but yeah, nice replacement for the Highland Fling, which was an Enterprise that used to be here, and it's a new Enterprise. So I think we're gonna do one more coaster, and then we got a long drive ahead of us, so we're probably gonna get ready to start heading out here but i gotta get a ride on american thunder i love american thunder we'll see if amber thinks it's too rough she might i love it last ride of the day american thunder and i love these signs that they have on the way up towards the coaster just a wonderful little history of the roller coaster itself but we're going uh, that way so we are heading out. Amber is like lumpered. And we got a good drive ahead of us. Just saw something really nice though. We were, I was refilling my water bottle one last time. And uh, family in front of me had a meal plan, got the wrong stuff for their meal plan, which meant they really couldn't get it and were supposed to pay. And a gentleman helping out named Rod Nell at Macho Burrito. I think that's what it's called. Uh, very nice. Worked through with them and managed to work out a way to get them their food free. So. I just want to give him a call out. Rod Nell, you did awesome, and I'm going to make sure I get that sent into guest relations. So, But we're heading the road. It's been a good day. Had a great last ride in American Thunder. Oh we're pooped. Well, not totally. She is. <laughs> but um, good drive ahead of us. It's been a good day. We did a lot. Crowds are nice. The weather was fantastic. So it was a good day. 